Bill Bastain went to the doctor and got the kind of news no one wants to hear. Sure. His stomach pain was actually advanced pancreatic cancer. He was given just a year to live. That kind of a message, I, I, I heard it, and, uh, and I, 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 I saw Linda break down, and, and I... Um, I remember just being completely devastated. Pancreatic cancer is one of the deadliest cancers. Aretha Franklin, Steve Jobs, and Patrick Swayze have all died from this disease. Most tumors, like Bill's, are detected yeah. too late when surgery is far too risky. But now this team at the Mayo Clinic has developed a new way to attack tumors once considered inoperable. Yeah. Patients with pancreatic cancer Maybe are treated with tomorrow. this innovative Maybe approach. Then. Their tumors are blasted with chemotherapy, then followed by radiation and surgery. The key thing that we found is the more chemotherapy people get that's effective, the longer they live. It's about hope. Another critical step is the use of PET scans to make sure the cancer is dead before removing the tumor surgically. So the key to what you're doing here is making sure that that's no longer alive before you go in and surgically remove it. Exactly. So we find a chemotherapy to kill that. The results published in a new study this week are life-changing. The average survival time for 194 patients, once told they had 12 to 18 months to live, is now almost five years. And for many, still counting. I can be with my wife and my children and my grandchildren. Sometimes I, I just look at Bill with a little bit of disbelief, like, you're, you're still here. We. We still have a life together. A bright spot in the fight against one of cancer's biggest killers. Dr. John Torres, NBC News, Rochester, Minnesota. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.